final round. I'll tell you this, we have a great crowd here tonight at Utopia's Paradise Theater. It's important to have boxing in the Bronx. It's important to have good fight cards, good fight fans here with a lot of local fighters that can consistently fill out cards here. It's yeah, good for boxing. No, I agree with you, Joe. I think it's important to have boxing in any of the bubbles in this great, great city of New York. There's so many great people and so many great fight fans. It does nothing but surf boxing and surf the communities. I want to take a moment to talk about somebody who served the community of boxing for many, many years and who passed away not too long ago. Neil Ferrara, a terrific boxing man, a trainer for many, many, many years in New York. John Duddy's first trainer here in the United States, the undefeated Irish fighter. We just want to send our condolences, our wishes, and our prayers to the family of Neil Ferrara. See, Gibbs got turned around for a moment there. And Jovan kept punching. He landed a right hand to the body. And now Jovan back to his busier pace at the halfway mark of his 10th round. I think Gibbs really needed to do a lot more than this down the stretch of this fight, Betty. He did to win this fight, but who knows what he knows as far as how his legs feel and as far as how he's affected when that chin is touched. He may have done just what he had to to go the distance to survive the round. You know, before we started this main event, you heard the interview where I asked Willie Gibbs, hey, you're coming off the first round knockout loss to Edison Miranda. Why raise your bar? If you were managing the career of Willie Gibbs, would you have given maybe a softer touch to bounce back after that fight? It's a difficult thing to say, but you would think so. But Gibbs, probably the kind of fighter with the kind of temperament that says, hey, I don't want to waste my time. I want to be right in there with something that counts. But yeah, you would want to put him in with something softer. But they did put him in with a guy who's not a puncher, but a guy who's experienced with good fighters and who's very solid. Very, not, very a, not a gift, obviously, as you say, Joe, but gifts. He's backing up now. Can he mount something here? about Flurry's up top to finish it off. Willie Gibbs and Ray Joval go the distance. We will come back to the Bronx and hear from the judges on Wednesday Hello. night fights. Hello. Ray Joval, he thinks he's about to celebrate a victory. Let's look at the just for men, hair color, punch track fight recap and the hair color of choice for just for men the golden halo of rachel Baum. 979 punches thrown in 10 rounds penny atlas's scorecard early on gibbs had his moments joe Baum down the stretch 97 93 for the dutchman now let's send it up to the ring to generous joe and Tenacci. Boxing fan Judge Carlos Ortiz ceased about 96-94, while judges Don Trella and Steve Weisfeld both ceased about 97-93. All for your winner by unanimous decision from Amsterdam, Holland, Raymond car accident in 05 the 17 month layoff first fight since november of 2005 and a good win for ray joval ray joval now 36 and 4 as willie gibbs falls to 20 and 3. we will come back and talk about zeb judas